Happy Kids Journey with Starry Fairy. Enjoy your 20-minute stories and have fun today. Remember to subscribe, share, and like. Tigger, Fennel, and the Jungle Adventure, a tale of friendship and embracing differences. In the heart of a lush green jungle, where sunlight dappled through the leaves, lived a little tiger cub named Tigger. Tigger was a ball of orange and black stripes with a boundless amount of energy. He loved to pounce, climb trees, and chase butterflies with his friends. But Tigger had one tiny problem. He didn't like anyone different from him. One sunny morning, while Tigger was practicing his roaring, which still sounded more like a meow, he saw a new face peeking from behind a big banyan tree. It was a little fox cub named Fennel. Fennel was unlike anyone Tigger had ever seen. Her fur was a fiery red, and her bushy tail swished excitedly as she approached. Hello, chirped Fennel, her voice bright and bubbly. I'm Fennel. I just moved here with my family. Tigger eyed her cautiously. Foxes? We don't play with foxes, he huffed. You're different. Fennel's ears drooped. But I can play tag. I'm really good at hiding, she offered, hopefully. Tigger crossed his paws. Nah, tigers chase things we don't hide. Fennel looked around sadly. The jungle, usually a buzz with life, suddenly felt empty. Just then, a wise old orangutan named Orangutan Omar swung down from a nearby branch. His fur was the color of tree bark, and his eyes held the warmth of a thousand sunsets. What's troubling you, little ones? Omar asked gently. Fennel sniffled, explaining how Tigger wouldn't play with her because she was different. Omar chuckled, a sound like rustling leaves. Little ones, the jungle is beautiful because of its differences. We have tall trees that reach for the sky, wide rivers that flow like liquid silver, and creatures of all shapes, sizes, and colors. Imagine how boring it would be if everyone looked and acted the same. Tigger looked around. Omar was right. The bright blue butterflies flitting between flowers, the plump hornbills honking their greetings, the sleek black panther padding silently, all added to the richness of the jungle. Omar nudged Tigger with a soft finger. Why not give Fennel a chance? You might just learn something new. Hesitantly, Tigger approached Fennel. Okay, fine, he mumbled. But you have to promise not to slow me down. Fennel's face lit up. Follow me, she squealed, darting between the trees. Tigger, surprised by her speed, gave chase. They weaved through the undergrowth, climbed over fallen logs, and splashed through shallow puddles. Fennel, with her small size, could squeeze through gaps that Tigger couldn't. She led him to hidden waterfalls and secret clearings, places Tigger never knew existed. As the day wore on, they grew tired and happy. Sprawled under a banyan tree, Tigger realized he'd had the most fun he'd ever had. Fennel, despite being different, was a fantastic playmate. Thanks. Fennel, Tigger yawned. This was the best game of tag ever. Fennel giggled. Maybe tomorrow we can explore the riverbank? I hear otters live there. Tigger's eyes widened. Otters? He'd never met an otter. Sure, he agreed, a smile spreading across his face. From that day on, 
Tigger and Fennel became the best of friends. They explored the jungle together, discovering new wonders and learning to appreciate each other's differences. Tigger learned that friendship wasn't about being the same, but about celebrating what made each other unique. And who knows, maybe someday, Tigger would even learn to love hiding, as long as it meant spending time with his dear friend Fennel. Little listeners, we learn the importance of embracing differences and giving everyone a chance. Tigger, who initially didn't want to play with Fennel because she was different, discovered a whole new world filled with fun and adventure. Just like Tigger and Fennel, we should welcome and celebrate the uniqueness in our friends and peers. The jungle, or our world, is a beautiful place because of the variety of creatures, cultures, and ideas. Let's not shy away from new experiences, but instead, let's embrace them and learn from one another. Remember to be open-minded and accept those who are different. You never know, you might just make a new friend and discover a whole new world. Remember to like and subscribe. The fearless Ella and Penelope have big dreams. In a vibrant savanna, bathed in the warm glow of the rising sun, lived a little elephant named Ella. Unlike other elephant calves who dreamt of mud baths and juicy melons, Ella dreamt of flashing lights and chasing after troublemakers. Every morning, she'd practice her loudest trumpet hoping it sounded just like a police siren. One day, while Ella practiced her arresting pose by a watering hole, a voice piped up from behind. That's a very impressive trumpeting, Ella. Ella turned to see Penelope, a little penguin waddling towards her. Penelope's black and white feather seemed to shimmer under the African sun. Thanks, Penelope, Ella rumbled shyly. I'm practicing to be a police officer when I grow up. Penelope's eyes widened. A police officer? But elephants are too big for police cars. Ella's ears drooped. Maybe you're right, she mumbled. But I want to help people and keep everyone safe. Penelope hopped closer, her flippers pattering on the dryer. Well, I want to be president when I grow up, she declared, puffing out her chest. Ella's eyes widened even more than Penelope's. A president? But penguins live in the South Pole. Penelope tilted her head. So, presidents can be from anywhere. They just need to be brave, kind, and smart. Ella thought about it. Penelope was right. There were no rules about who could be a police officer or a president. Maybe all it took was a big dream and a big heart. You know what? Ella announced a newfound determination in her voice. I'm still going to be a police officer who helps everyone in the savannah. And you, Penelope, will be the best president the world has ever seen. Penelope beamed. Maybe you can give me rides to meetings on your back, Officer Ella. Ella chuckled. Deal. President Penelope. From that day on, Ella and Penelope became the best of friends. They spent their days dreaming big dreams and practicing for their future careers. Ella practiced her trumpeting and chasing after mischievous monkeys. Penelope practiced her speeches, standing on top of termite mounds and addressing imaginary crowds. The other animals in the savanna chuckled at first, but seeing their dedication and passion, they soon started believing too. The lions promised to help Ella train, 
and the giraffes volunteered to be Penelope's podiums for her practice speeches. As the sun dipped below the horizon each evening, painting the sky in hues of orange and purple, Ella and Penelope would huddle together, sharing their dreams and cheering each other on. They knew that even though their paths might seem different, they could achieve anything they set their minds to, no matter how big or unusual their dreams may be. After all, a little elephant could be a mighty police officer, and a little penguin could become a world-changing president. And that, dear listener, is the magic of having big dreams and believing in yourself, no matter who you are. Ella and Penelope's story teaches us a powerful lesson. No dream is too big, and no one should be limited by their background or appearance. Their dreams were unconventional, but they did not let that stop them. Let this story inspire you to dream big and believe in yourself, no matter your circumstances. Like Ella and Penelope, you too can overcome any obstacles in your path and make your dreams come true. Remember to like and subscribe. Always be kind to others. In a sparkling river that snaked through a lush green forest lived a playful otter pup named Milo. Milo had sleek brown fur and a mischievous glint in his eyes. He loved zooming through the water, chasing after fish and leaving a trail of bubbles in his wake. One sunny morning, as Milo practiced his impressive underwater flips, a large shadow loomed over him. He popped his head out, blinking water from his eyes to see Neha the little cow standing on the riverbank. Neha, with her round belly and wide smile, was known for being gentle, but a little clumsy. Hi, Milo, she mooed, her voice echoing across the water. Mind if I join you? Milo's smile faltered. But Neha, he squeaked, the river isn't big enough for both of us to play. You might accidentally muddy the water with all that bigness. Neha's smile drooped. Oh, I see. She looked down at her hooves, sending ripples through the water that rocked Milo back and forth. I just wanted to make a new friend, that's all. Milo felt a pang of guilt. He'd never thought about it before, but being big did sound a little lonely. Well, he began cautiously, maybe we can find a way to play together? Neha's eyes lit up. Really? How? Milo tilted his head, thinking, we can play hide and seek. The riverbank has many spots for hiding, and Neha, you can hide behind the trees and bushes. Intrigued, Neha walked closer to the riverbank. Hide and seek? Sounds fun. You count first, Milo. But be warned, I can hide very quietly. Milo chuckled and began counting, peeking under lily pads and behind rocks. He searched high and low until finally, Neha's big, brown eyes peeked out from behind a large bush. Boo! Neha mooed, making Milo jump. Milo sputtered and laughed, the sound echoing through the trees. They played for hours, hiding and seeking, splashing and giggling. Neha, despite her size, could sneak around the bushes and trees, and Milo, with his agility, could dart around her like a living water spout. As the sun began to dip below the horizon, painting the sky in fiery hues of orange and pink, Milo and Neha grew tired but happy. Thanks, Milo, Neha sighed contentedly. 
That was the most fun I've had in ages. Milo grinned. Me too, Neha. Maybe tomorrow we can invent a new game? One where your size can be an advantage. Neha snorted with laughter. Now that sounds like a challenge. I accept. From that day on, Milo and Neha became the unlikeliest of best friends. They learned that friendship wasn't about being the same size, but about celebrating each other's differences and finding ways to play together. They invented games where Neha's bulk could be used to create dams and obstacles, and Milo's speed helped them explore hidden coves in the river. The other animals in the forest, who had once chuckled at their unusual friendship, soon came to admire their creativity and kindness. They realized that sometimes, the best friendships bloomed in the most unexpected places, reminding everyone that being kind and inclusive opened the door to a world of fun and laughter. So, little listeners, the next time you see someone different from you, remember Milo and Neha. There's a whole world of friendship waiting to be discovered, and all it takes is a little kindness and a big heart. Remember to like and subscribe. Ollie and Zara love their cat. In a house filled with the scent of freshly baked cookies, Ollie and Zara bounced on their toes, anticipation buzzing in the air. Today was the day they were finally getting a cat. Not just any cat, but a fluffy orange ball of purr named Peach. Peach arrived in a cardboard carrier, peeking out with wide, curious green eyes. Her fur was the color of a setting sun, and her tiny pink tongue darted out in a nervous greeting. Ollie and Zara were instantly smitten. They spent the rest of the afternoon building a magnificent fort out of pillows and blankets, a secret hideaway just for them and their new feline friend. But as bedtime approached, a flicker of worry crossed Zara's face. Where will Peach sleep? She whispered. Ollie, remembering something their parents had said, scratched his chin thoughtfully. Cats like cozy places, just like us, he explained. Together, they found a soft, round basket and lined it with a fluffy towel, placing it in a quiet corner of their room. The next morning, Ollie peeked into the basket. Peach was curled up inside, but her usually bright eyes looked a little dull. Suddenly, their mom entered the room, a small bowl in her hand. Looks like Peach might be thirsty, she said, kneeling down. She poured fresh water into a bowl and placed it near the basket. As soon as she saw it, Peach stretched, yawned, and padded over for a refreshing drink. Cats need fresh water every day, just like us, their mom explained and sometimes they need a little help cleaning up. After breakfast, Ollie and Zara watched intently as their dad scooped some special litter into a rectangular box. This is Peach's litter box, he explained. Cats like to keep things clean, and this is their special bathroom. The next few days were a whirlwind of exploration for Peach. Ollie and Zara learned all about taking care of their new furry friend. They kept her water bowl full, helped clean her litter box, and discovered the joy of a good catnip-filled toy chase. They even learned a secret meow-like greeting that always made Peach purr like a tiny motorboat. One evening, as Ollie and Zara snuggled into bed, Peach gracefully hopped onto the covers, curling up contentedly between them. She's happy now, isn't she? Zara whispered, a sleepy smile on her face.
Ollie nodded, stroking Peach's soft fur. She's more than just a pet. She's our perfect friend, he replied. And we learned how to take care of her. From that day on, Ollie and Zara continued to learn more about cats, from their favorite foods to their playful personalities. Peach, in turn, showered them with unconditional love and gentle head butts. She was a furry reminder that taking care of someone, even a tiny cat, brought a special kind of joy that filled their hearts with warmth. Dear little listeners, cats, like Peach, are adorable and cuddly companions that bring joy and warmth to your life. Just like Ollie and Zara, you too can become wonderful cat caretakers by following a few essential guidelines. Make sure your feline friends always have access to fresh water, tasty food, and a clean litter box. Engage in regular playtime, and don't forget to brush their fur gently. But most importantly, shower them with love, affection, and patience as they adjust to their new home. Have a happy day with your kitten. Don't forget to like and subscribe.